Welcome to the Full Dive Gaming Podcast, bringing you all the full dive of the news, discussion, and insights you need for virtual reality gaming. We're doing a Thanksgiving special with tips for holiday savings. Save after you spend all that money on your turkey. And of course, this podcast is brought to you by Asterian Products. If you're checking us out here on YouTube, you can see at least one of us wearing a gorgeous VR sweater, some merch from them. Chet, they also have some new creator mats and special VR mats. Check them out. Asterianproducts.com code full is going to save you $5. I'm Jay Rat. I'm a VR YouTuber who is excited to be going to Thankmas next week in LA. Woo! And I am Matt Rat, a VR enthusiast who really wishes the new Astrobot game was on PSVR. <laughs> and I'm Assassin32, a VR YouTuber who is just happy to be here on Thanksgiving Day with my friends, Jay and Matt. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> We're happy to be hanging out with Assassin here as well. We're also happy to be hanging out with all of you because we're here to keep you up to date in the VR realm. We're going to answer your questions. We're going to talk about some of the latest, greatest VR news and deals, some games we've been playing lately. If you're listening, come check us on YouTube and see the background, see that Nat and I are shoved in this tiny closet today for some reason. <laughs> or if you're watching us, you can take us on the road as you're driving to your long-awaited family's house for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, we got some questions here, Assassin. You want to take take them off? Take us take the lead here. Yeah, first one's from Shafe Dog, and I'm I'm also thankful he's back to being Shafe Dog. By the way, <laughs> Mr. Um, Zircon did not work out for you. No, it wasn't that great. But Shafe Dog is awesome. So Shafe Dog asks, how exactly does Meta intend to get Dolby Atmos on Quest without upward firing speakers or a sub or anything <laughs> else that Atmos needs? Lol. <laughs> lol, lol. It's it's interesting because I I'm not an expert on Atmos or home surround sound, but I can tell you this for sure from having like the Ray Bands, they can do amazing things with the spatial audio on them somehow. And I know that a lot of it now comes from like where it used to be surround sound was all about having speakers ain't from every direction. Where now what they've learned, like even with PSVR, was binaural audio is a trick that convinces your brain sound is coming from a certain place, even if there's no speaker there. Mm -hmm. And the way they do that was like, your, your right ear will hear it. And a fraction of a second later, your left ear will hear it. So rather than having to have the actual speaker there, the way the sound comes out, it makes you think, I just heard that at my four o'clock position, mm -hmm. 20 feet behind me. And so I don't know that it's true Atmos without that, but I know that like as far as spatial audio has come, they're getting really good at some of it. And you know, Shafe, I know Shafe was a big PSVR fan. That original PSVR, the binaural audio system they patented for it mm -hmm. was still better than anything we have on Quest or anything. So maybe yeah. Atmos is Quest catching up. Maybe. What? What's funny is it seems like witchcraft that you could possibly mm -hmm. do this, but you have to remember we only have two ears yep. and mm. we can hear from all different directions and, and it works. So I think what you said makes sense that that if they just kind of have it in one ear a little quicker than the other, it's going to cause you to hear distance. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's weird that they can do that. It's a positional thing and it's possible. Like you said, we have two ears. So two speakers, if everything's programmed right, mm -hmm. can literally create an entire soundscape. And PSVR yeah. did. I still don't know how, but I remember, <laughs> I remember awesome. playing, what was that game? The Brookhaven Experiment. And there's yes. a room where you're in the darkness. Uh, and even though I could barely see them, I could hear exactly where they were coming from in any direction around me. And I was just blown away by that. Our yeah. brains are cool. <laughs> brains are Trickable, rad. trickable, but cool. <laughs> so the next question he had was, when is the 24 hour gaming stream for hurricane relief? <laughs> You know, I, maybe this is a thing that's going on that's kind of flown to the radar. I know the hurricanes destroyed a lot uh, down south. I know that we will actually be doing a live stream for charity next Friday on the JBrat channel. Uh, Thank Miss is a big one every year. And that's unfortunately, it's not anything about hurricane, but it is like the crisis uh, text line. The Samaritans, you know, people are in a bad situation. They need someone to suddenly talk to. And so that'll be happening. I don't know. Are you planning to do anything hurricane there, Assassin? Um, hurricane, you know, I think this question is a little bit older. Um, the hurricanes, <laughs> hurricanes I mean, are past now. They've been relieved. Uh -oh. <laughs> you were kind of out of hurricane season or, or close to it anyway. But, um, I, I will be watching your stream. I've watched it the last couple of years, um, start to finish. And it's funny watching your stream grow for Thankmas. Mm. It, it, it kind of exploded last year. Yeah. yeah, I think we're going to try and beat the thousand dollars we raised last year. But the trick this year is going to be I actually won't be the one streaming it because we have front row tickets to the actual event down in L.A. So oh, you get to go. That's cool. Yeah. So we'll be there. But John will be doing the stream here so everybody can kind of watch and try and see if they can spot us uh, in the stream and then hopefully raise, hopefully beat the thousand dollars from last year. I think we'll be able to. So we'll have to get you to cough on time like you did. <laughs> cough right now. <laughs> That was so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what other questions have we got? 
We got a question from Jimmy on the Rocks. What is the difference between a VR simulation and a VR game? And this is a great question. For example, the last episode, okay, I don't remember which last episode it was, but one of our last episodes was the bartending game. Um, Wouldn't it be a simulator? I think there is a bartender simulator as well. So this is a good question. Difference between simulation and game. What do you guys think? Wow, it's kind of that's a tough question because I mean, at some point it goes from like a a gamified point system to just a simulation. But Mm -hmm. even, um, you know, Power Wash Simulator the greatest sim ever um, had gaming elements to it. It wasn't just power washing. Would you call like some of the driving games that we have now simulators or would you still call them games? If you're talking stand, if you're asking me and you're talking standalone, I, I, I don't know that we're really seeing a lot of simulators unless you're on PC VR. Um, there, there's a, a few out that are, that are kind of the, the half gaming, half sim, like, um, Gran Turismo seven, but they're, most of them are kind of gamified. Mm-hmm. I actually we have do- a full driving simulator sitting next to me here that I never nice. use because <laughs> it is, I, for a lot of PC stuff, it is just simulation and I kind of want the gamified version. Mm-hmm. I think it's kind of up to the developers and there's not really like a specific definition like they'll call it because like Gran Turismo was always called a game, but the creator said it was a driving simulation. There's- and we found out from the Gran Turismo movie <laughs> that if you play it, then you can drive. It's <laughs> yes, actually a really good movie on Netflix. If you're into gaming, <laughs> you're into anything to do with gaming, I would watch it. They did a good job. Is it just called Gran Turismo? Yeah, it's actually a mm-hmm. true story of a guy who went up for racing after playing the simulation so much. So it was a good. One. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. But yeah, there's no specific line on those. Like Surgeon Simulator was obviously not yeah. a simulation, but they called it that. So. I yeah, think A simulator is like if you do it in the game and it translates to real life like pretty well, I think that's what I would consider like a simulator versus a game. And certain simulator definitely does not translate. I'm going to do do brain surgery after that. Come on. It's exactly the same. It's awesome. Just crack someone's just skull cut right in, off pull the brain out <laughs> toss the brain across the room grab yeah. a new one shove it grab in. a new brain or a heart from the fridge and then shove it in there <laughs> i'm pretty sure all human body parts are considered plug and play like yeah. that so oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> they will be soon <laughs> we got one more question here how much would you sell your meta headset to to your brother so you can upgrade to a three asking for a friend obviously Kyle. i'm a bad one to ask this because i kind of give headsets away all the time uh Everyone who knows me who wanted one that didn't pay anything for it. I think if I was like a regular consumer and I had a Quest 2 that I'd used for years and I loved it, but I really want to upgrade to a 3, I feel like 150 would be mm-hmm. fair. Like that's the most I think you could really ask too. The problem is the new headsets are so cheap that like, yeah, a Quest 2 is probably still worth if you just think of it as standalone VR, it's probably still worth 250 or 300 in theory because of what you're offering. But a brand new 3S is that or less. So you can't really, you know, the I think value 100, just dies. I think a Quest 2 for 150, it's got to have like head strap grips, yeah. facial interface. Like it's yeah. got to be fully decked out. If you've um, got a bunch of accessories, yeah, the price is justifiably a little higher. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, hey. honest, if you're talking about a stock Quest 2, 100 bucks, like I think that's the most you're really going to get for it. Especially yeah. I'll come up with some numbers here in a minute to tell you a really great deal. I guess Yay. the question is also, they ask if they're selling for their brother. Does the brother, are they wanting to help you out by buying it for a little good price? Mm. Or are you trying to give them the homie hookup price? Because that mm. price is probably like $100 mm. at the most. So mm-hmm. it's your brother. Yeah, you're probably looking at 200 250 Well, and speaking of all that. <laughs> for my the, brother anyway. Yeah. <laughs> in the news, it's Black Friday this week. There's some crazy sales. And Assassin, you've been doing some kind of weird math to figure all this out. What have you got for us? Okay, Ooh, so man. so I'm looking online and um, Target has Quest 3S, uh, 299 but it comes with a $75 gift card. Um, Best Buy has the same deal and so does Amazon. Nice. But when you really run those numbers, start off at 299 and then you take off 75 for the gift card that they give you. Take off 49.99 for Batman Arkham Shadow that comes with it. Mm. Take off another $30 game credit if you buy it using your friend's referral. You'll get $30 in games. Mm-hmm. Take off another $23.97 for three months of Quest Plus, and you're down to $120.04 for a Quest 3S. Mm. That's a steal. That's the mm. best 
best deal in gaming I've ever seen. Yeah, that 75 really puts it over the top because everything else would come with it normally. But that 75 yeah. extra is like now you can go buy a head strap. Mm. Yes, it is. It is the time. Or you could just go buy essentials like food and <laughs> shampoo. There's no. You don't need food or shampoo or soap when you're in VR. <laughs> Nobody needs True. to smell good if you're only hanging out in VR chat. True. <laughs> yeah, but that seventy five dollar gift stuff. card. No matter where you're getting it from, you can use that seventy dollar seventy five dollar gift card to get accessories. But I think you get it from Amazon because then you have a wider choice of accessories. You're not just stuck buying the the meta branded accessories that you would see at the shelf at Target. Because that money also wouldn't go as far with the meta branded ones. You want to be on Amazon yep. where you can get a Bobo VR head strapper. Even there's some ones like if you just need a head strap, there's some really cheap Black Friday. Apex you know, has one for like nine dollars. Wow. It's yeah. not a battery, but it's still yeah. a head strap. Yeah. yeah. That's a wild price for any yeah. head strap. I'm yeah. actually thinking about doing a video um, in the next few days where I'll kind of take this deal and then use that $75 gift card and say, here's the head strap mm -hmm. I would get. Here's the facial interface I would get and there maybe grips. And I think you can do all three of those and get good ones for that 75 bucks. Yeah. Have your full setup. And that sale, that, that's supposed to run through Black Friday. But I feel like I'm having people, like I talked about a little bit in a news video today, and people, I'm getting mixed reviews on whether they can get the discount or not. So I don't know if it's regional, but yeah, I can click on it. And right now it says redeem and it says code quest 75. It doesn't actually make you use that code. You just hit the redeem button. So yeah, be be careful if you're looking for it. Make sure you have that added on at whatever website you're using and actually get that because yeah, yeah people were having a little bit of a trouble with it. Yeah, that's a screaming deal. I mean, yeah, you got to spend the $2.99 up front to get all of those discounts and credits, but you know, you're going to want those things anyway especially if you're new to VR, you're buying this for someone that's new to VR. The Quest Plus subscription allows them to play some games without having to invest any money to get there. Yeah. Recommend. Highly recommend. Uh, is there anything else Black Friday you've seen so far? We'll obviously talk about this a little bit more on Black Friday on the JRAT channel, probably on your channel too. But is there anything else you've seen you want to highlight? Um, that's the one, that's the one for me. I've kind of looked at some other things and I'm kind of, I am putting that together for a video now to come up with those, the, the other accessories that I would get with the $75 credit. But that's, that's the one for me that I've seen. Yeah. Apex, you know, has got a couple things that are just wildly cheap. Uh, their haptic guns aren't wildly cheap, but they are down to $90. And I've talked about those a little bit before you hook your controllers in them and they add some haptics and they're just ridiculously fun. It's just fun. It's just <laughs> absolutely fun. It's the dumbest, most unnecessary accessory in a way. Like it's front heavy. It's yeah. charge it. It may not yeah. last forever. It sounds kind of plasticky. But when you yeah. get pistol whipped the first time and you fire the gun and you feel the recoil for real. It's, yes. Man, it adds a wild level to it. it. I thought the sound would annoy me. The sound is my favorite part. Just <laughs> running around the house, <laughs> surprising my wife when she's not looking. He just <laughs> bang. It's just fun. Oh, so those funny. are the I've got more smiles off those Apex Aino grips, the haptic grips, than any other <laughs> accessory I've owned. Yeah. Yeah. They just they really add a level to it. So if you're out there and you're like, ah, I mean, they're also on Amazon Prime. Go get a set for 90 bucks. And if you don't love them or you get your enough experience out of them, you can always return them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't don't tell Apex I said that. <laughs> I do think they should sell them as a single and as a double pack. Um because yes. some games you're only running around with one gun. True. You don't need two. For the most part, I only use one as it is, but I think the problem is the price point with Apex. They probably want that bigger package to make yeah. more money because if they sold one, everybody would just buy one and one at $40. That would be really cheap. Yeah. And then how cool would it be if they like you could build out a full gun stock with them? If you had a, a, a shoulder rest and you mm -hmm. had, you know, front grip and everything else that you would need, that'd be sweet. Get some 3D printing going on that one. We so. We talked about something uh, over on my channel a little bit this week. Lee, did you get a chance to check out Gracia at all after I talked about it? I did not. It? So I tried this out. This is this new app. You can get it free on your Quest right now. But what it is is they've taken volumetric video of people in real life. So this is depth video from all the way around 365 degrees of these people who are doing actions, whether it's shadow boxing, making sushi. I don't even know. It, it, just, just cooking fish uh, or a dancer. And there's supposed to be other scenes coming, but you can see these people in mixed reality with full depth around them. And you can walk around them in the room. And it was so wild when I was testing it, I had to go get Nat. I had to get John. I had to like, let them try it. So now you walked out and I just shoved a headset on your head. What, yeah. did, what did you experience? <laughs> So it was really cool. Okay. There wasn't audio, which I was expecting there would be audio. So that was a little like surprising, but there's just this dude 
And he's like, I think he's making sushi. He's like cutting up a fish and like he has this like uh, table, you know, where he's cutting the stuff and he's just like there and you can put your hand like in front of your face or something and your actual hand you can see in front of the stuff. It doesn't like mess it up where like your hand goes like behind it or messes sure. it up or whatever. Um, And you can uh kind of like uh demio mechanics you can shrink it or make it bigger move it around like and it stays like all 3d and cool and like um it was really cool my only thing was there was also a thing where um there's like a plate of food it was like uh what was it it was like there's different ones one was like a lobster salad or something uh but like It's on this plate and you can like put it on a table or like walk around with it. And my only thing with that was I want to eat it. Like (laughs) it looks really good and it's not real. So that was my only thing with the food. But um, it was really cool and it was cool to see kind of a like small little taste of like what we eventually could see. Like if there was sound to it, that would be really cool. But it was it looked very good. And there's just like kind of little edges around it, but it's like this whole, this like scene. I can't imagine the technology that goes into to making that work. You know, I mean, it seems like the tech is growing just by leaps and bounds. It's just, it's cruising so fast. Yeah. It's, it's go ahead. I was just going to ask, what did the, what did the quality look like? Um, the quality the video was quality. surprisingly good. It was very good. You mm-hmm. know, they're using real people, real volumetrics. And so it's it's kind of like if you took, you know, 20 pictures of your face and then stitched those into a round picture of your face. It's real pictures. It's not graphics. It's not pixels. Yeah. yeah. It's real. It's it's not perfect, but it's really good. And I was going to say, like, it's almost so good that. This is a weird way to say it, but, like, it's so good that it almost makes it not as impressive because, like, you don't notice any, like, funky things. It just looks really good. So you're like, oh, like, this looks natural. Like. Really? Yeah. Like, I I think, like, if you put, like, a teenager, like, someone that hasn't really tried much VR or mixed reality in it, like, they would be like, oh, okay. Because, like, it just looks so natural. Like, kind so of in your like mind, when you... people are really good at, like, a sport or something. And you're like, oh, that looks easy. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you don't realize how much work has gone into it. Yes. So in your mind, it would it would seem more impressive if it was like kind of had a, like a hologram shimmer or some or staticiness to it to let you know that this is technology happening, not just you viewing someone making sushi. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. A, that's wow. a good, yeah. Because it's it's so like immersive the way it happens. Like it just seems normal. Like oh okay yeah. There's a dude like making sushi randomly <laughs> in my room. Like <laughs> yeah, that's incredible though. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. It so really think, is. Think about this. If you were, you could use that for training. If you're yes. uh, teaching, teaching surgeons and you can have a surgeon performing the surgery in front of you and you can go all angles and look mm-hmm. in a little closer and see exactly how they're doing things. Right. That's, that's got unlimited potential for training purposes. Yes. And it was funny because when I first went into it, I thought that it was some kind of like cooking video, like, oh, there, this person's going to like teach me how to like make something. So that's what I think maybe it will go to. Like I could just imagine like you're in your kitchen, you have this like 3D person that's teaching how to cook something right there while you're doing it with them. Like how cool is that? You can make yeah, them like incredible. mini, like put them on your table. Like so <laughs> That's awesome. the future. For sure. There's some cool stuff coming. I mean, did you guys see the thing? Um, your Quest 3 headset is going to be able to wirelessly and natively connect to your computer, just like the Apple Vision Pro. Ooh, yep. They're really trying to yeah, get all that. It Apple should Vision. just be really simple and easy is the key. Because yeah. the thing is, you yeah. can do it now if you're willing to tinker and yeah. fight with apps yep. and settings and stuff. But once it's just easy, then people who haven't seen the value yet will be like, okay, this is worth it because they don't yeah. have to deal with all the trouble. So. Mm-hmm. I think Getting Apple Vision it. Pro, you legitimately just look at the your keyboard and it goes, I should be doing something with keyboard, so I'll turn on the computer. Mm-hmm. That's the, th- in theory, I have heard mixed reviews, but in theory, you were supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to just look at your MacBook and all of a sudden everything would pop up in front of you. But yeah, it's still newish technology where they're still working out some kinks too, but. And the Quest version is coming next month, they say. So we'll we'll see how it all works out. Finally, I'm excited 24. to try that. <laughs> 
Barely. <laughs> Even if it's a B level version of what the Apple Vision Pro does, it just shows you. I mean, Meta is basically watching what HTC does, what Apple does, what everyone's doing, and says, "Can we take the best of what they do and do a version of it?" Yes. And it it might not be the A plus version, but it works. And it's so cheap. I just cheap. played <laughs> yes. with some spatial videos on on my Quest Three the other day and was kind of shocked at how easy it was to make it work and how cool it looked when it was up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do. Uh, Gracia is free. You will feel like your quest is struggling. I'll warn yeah. you, it is pushing <laughs> it. You can tell even on a quest three, it was pushing it to its mm-hmm. limits. So be cautious when you open it, move slowly, don't make yourself sick. Uh, but I'd highly recommend that. And then we've got some games. Uh, I wanted to highlight one I've been playing a little bit with people, but we're going to need to move kind of fast here. So I'm going to just kind of shoot through it. Have you tried Last Stand at all yet? Assassin. So Last Stand is a mixed reality PVP zombie shooter game. And people hear all that and it sounds pretty generic. But the weird thing about this one is unlike most mixed reality multiplayer games, you don't have two people in the same room putting on headsets and playing this together. You could be across the world, but it tailors your play space to create this like little shop inside of a mall and with windows in it that you've boarded up to try and keep the zombies out. And then the other person is in another shop just across the way. So it feels like you're 30 feet away from each other trying to kill each other while zombies are trying to kill both of you. Why are you trying to kill your friend? That's what's funny about it. I didn't realize. I thought it was a co-op game the first time I played it, but it's a PvP. You are against them. And it's supposed to be the shooter action game with zombies kind of as a side thing. But it felt like when I was playing it, I was like shooting zombies. I was shooting the zombies across the way trying to keep them from eating the other person. I didn't realize we were fighting until later. (laughs) That is kind of funny. Oh, we're in this together. Well, I'm going to kill you so the zombies can eat you. Yeah, it's, you know, it is a versus game. And it's, (laughs) it's in early access. It doesn't feel terribly fleshed out yet like it feels like you could play this twice and and you might be done with it after that but it is a cool experience if you've never gotten to do something like spatial ops with people locally or if you just have a friend who's far away and you want to play a game with them it suddenly really feels like they're right there across so we did a space pirate trainer for your birthday that time Mm -hmm. when that surprised you and i thought that was pretty impressive too but that was just a, a big flat space and that's a lot easier than doing it this way where you have your home and your furniture and I have my home and my furniture and we still find a way to make it work. Yeah. Yeah. That's impressive. It's smart because it creates you each your own room based off your play space. So, so the, and then there's that little bit of the mall walkway in between and then they're in their room. So you never enter each other's physical space, but it really feels like you're just across the way. And that's probably also why they made it a PVP game, because a cooperative game wouldn't feel as cool if you could never get close to your friend. True. But in this one, yeah. you don't want them to get close because you're trying to shoot them. You're trying to let the zombies take them out. Mm. So it's a definitely a different kind of game. But it's the first time I've seen mixed reality kind of do that where like imagine Starship Home that's coming. The one where you're like, mm. it turns your home into a spaceship. If they have yep. like a co-op mode where your friend was in another spaceship next mm. to you and you try to work together, it shows a way mixed reality can bring people together Yeah, when people kind of thought, oh, once we do this, it's not the same because VR puts you right in the same room. Now it just has to tailor it to your space, but the spaces can still be near each other is a that's weird cool. Thing about mixed reality. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Love it. So it's in early access. You use real life running around movement mechanics, so you shouldn't have to worry much about motion sickness. I mean, the rounds are like 10 minutes maybe, and you'll probably play four or five rounds and be like, okay, I'll wait for the next update. But it is cool if you check it out once or twice. So I'd say if you've been on the fence and you're wondering about it and you have a friend that also has a headset that's far away, it's maybe worth checking out. Uh, but it should develop more as early access continues on. So watch out because for now it's really fun the first few times. And then you're like, okay, this is exactly the same every time. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> pitfalls of many other games. <laughs> True. Yeah. Uh, before we get into the next game, for those of you who haven't been following the podcast too long, PSVR one had an amazing game called Astrobot Rescue Mission. <gasps> Uh, Assassin, tell us real quick, as you had never, you'd had a quest for a while. You didn't have a PSVR. I loaned you a PSVR and a PS4 Pro and said, this is the game you need to play. What was Astrobot Rescue Mission? Uh, Astrobot Rescue Mission, the greatest VR platformer ever. Maybe maybe the greatest platformer ever. Um, absolutely beautiful game where you're controlling Astrobot and you're rescuing all of your friends. And um, it's just done really well. Used a lot of mechanics where the controller, um, the PS4, well, yeah, PS4 controller um, was used as 
part of the action. You, um, trying to explain how it worked, like you use the microphone, you would blow something and it would actually cause something to change that you were looking at. Like you would blow the petals off of a flower or something like that. Really cool game. Absolutely a joy to play. And they didn't come out with the next version when PSVR 2 launched. No. Biggest they, disappointment. They came out with an Astrobot. And the funny thing, I feel like they made this game for everyone who didn't play Astrobot Rescue Mission because it's so far almost the same game. It's very like similar. you're flying a PS5 through space and a monster attacks the PS5, breaks it open, steals part of it, flies away. Same monster from Ask about Astrobot mm-hmm. Rescue Mission. Yeah. It almost feels like a reimagining of Astrobot Rescue Mission for non VR. Yeah. And Nat and I were playing it last night. What did you think? Oh my God. I, I was love wondering it. how Nat would oh. feel about this. I love it so much, but it's so hard because I'm like, just I'm in love with the game it makes me so happy it's like the game I want because I love platformers and it brings back the joy of childhood but I just want it to be in VR because like (laughs) every little thing like they have the haptics on the the uh PS5 controller and like they have like little audio things that like come out of the controller and the the audio is kind of spatial and stuff and like I'm just like I just It would be so much better in VR because you would be in it and seeing all the beauty and like, and it's so pretty, like there's sand. We just played a couple of the levels, but like there's a level with sand. There's, there's like water and the water looks so pretty and you like run around in the grass and the grass moves and you can run around and like leaves blow away and stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, like I just think of Astrobot Rescue Mission and how like you could be in the game if they had just yeah. made it and uh, for PSVR 2 and I'm like PlayStation why have you forsaken us why because I, <laughs> I was felt wondering like, how you'd feel about it oh it makes it it's so hard because I love it so much but it, I can't fully love it because I just yeah. want it to be in VR no and that's understandable yeah. And they said there's no plans of bringing it to VR. You can tell the game was made to be flat. Like it wouldn't really add much to make it VR right now, except being able to turn your head uh, because there's no, you know, VR puzzles or anything like that. But it, it really feels like they took for the first time, maybe a VR game and inspired everything from it and create a flat game out of that game, which mm-hmm. is what's a really weird that. feeling in playing it. Yeah. Oh, it even has that's the going same the wrong direction. Yeah. Yes. It's got the same worlds. Like you fly between worlds mm-hmm. and stuff. It's like, and even the level progression in the worlds. I'm like, I swear it looks like we haven't gotten to the boss yet, but it looks like the bosses are the same yes. bosses. From uh, rescue mission. It looks like it. Like this is an interesting thing to do. And there were even like in the VR game, there were like little, there was like a little symbol on some things that was like a little face. And that meant you because it's rescue missions third person so and you're like an alien thing and you're like moving astro around but sometimes you interact with stuff and so there's like this little face icon thing that meant like you like hit it with your head um so they have that little icon in this new game but you just like hit it with astro and i'm like oh my gosh like i swear they were like developing the next Astrobot for VR, and then they like scrapped the VR ness of it. I feel like it seems it, like that. It almost seems like that someone made a VR game rescue mission, and then they said, "Okay, this is great. People love it. Let's do an easier version mm-hmm. that more people can play." Yeah, and took the VR out of it. Which I wish they at least had like a VR level or something, yeah, a like, mode or something in it. Uh, you never know. Someone might come out with something at, at some point in the future. There's flat to VR studios and a few <gasps> other people that are, that are doing some things like that. So you think? maybe, I mean, they just did uh, trombone champ. Just, which came, just came out, just came out to, well, by the time you see this, it'll be a couple of days ago, but um, actually play tested. I, I can say it now. I couldn't say it before, oh. but I actually play tested trombone champ nice. and Nat, you need to play trombone. Champ. I do. You, I, really I think do. you would love it. As soon as I started playing it, I'm like, Nat needs this. I, it doesn't matter how long you're playing. You have a stupid smile on your face the entire time. This is my next. I, I've been so bad about like getting into VR lately. That's going to be my getting back into VR. Oh, I game. think you should. And it's, 15 bucks. It's a steal for that price. Tons of games that you know. And they actually uh, fairly recently, right before it launched, got the they perfected the mode where you can add your own songs. Oh, nice. Fun. Okay, that nice sounded scary. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. (laughs) 
<laughs> yes. Well, for now, no Astrobot PSVR 2 version. If we weren't playing it together, I almost thought I might put the headset on and play it in cinema mode mm-hmm. just to try to feel like it was there. But yeah. we were playing it, passing the controller back and forth. Mm-hmm. And it does. It's clearly on a PS5, on a 4K TV. It looks beautiful That's on a TV. Gorgeous. I don't know that it would look quite as good inside the headset. But it would. But (laughs) you just wish that it was you just wish it was VR. But I just love that on a Monday night, you two sit down, turn on the TV and the console and start passing the controller back and forth. (laughs) Yeah, that just makes me happy. It just just brings me back to that, like childhood, childlike wonder. Like, I'm like, (gasps) look, like you go into like a new level and you're like, oh, my gosh, look, this level is like ice cream. And this level is like (laughs) jungle. And it's like so exciting to see what's going to be in the next level it's like oh i love it so much yeah (laughs) it's not cheap though it's like 60 it's on sale right now it's normally 60 bucks it was on sale for 47 but then if you buy the deluxe edition then it's like 57 did we get the deluxe edition yeah i just was worried there would be some sort of vr nod in there somewhere and so i got the deluxe edition that's the painful thing i think about gaming lately is it's like you buy it and then there's the deluxe and then there's the super deluxe and then the other one now you're spending 110 bucks on a game yeah you always wonder like am i gonna miss it it's usually just cosmetics no it doesn't matter but i was like what if the cosmetic is like astro in a psvr cosmetic or something Aww. so yes. i got it yeah the fear of missing out makes you yeah. upgrade every true. time true. Yeah. and then you don't have any food <laughs> but you don't need it because you're in vr <laughs> <laughs> well at least although you won't be playing astrobot last stand is something mm-hmm. to check out trombone champ is definitely something to check out so you've got some options mm-hmm. was there anything else you wanted to highlight before we end this one here assassin um i think that's it for me <gasps> really i'm quick. just glad we got a thanksgiving episode out yes Really quick, I thought it would be fun to mention that we're going to use our VR. Continue. 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 Um, (laughs) We're going to use VR for a Thanksgiving thing. Um, So my mom called me and was like, uh, hey, I want to play Pictionary, but I don't want to waste paper, having a big paper thing. And I don't want to waste money buying like a huge like whiteboard. And so I was like, hey, we could. Uh, play Pictionary in VR, so we're going to bring a VR headset to things. Okay, that is, what is cool. What's happening here? A fan of the podcast actually sent this for you, Nat. Oh. What could it be? Okay. Oh, there's bubble wrap. <gasps> oh. It's a done kit. Break it. I'm not breaking it. Oh. <laughs> this is so sweet. From Aw, JBrat slash Eagle Doc Stew. Uh, Dundee Award for number one podcast host and number one sp- <laughs> that rap. That's so sweet. You got a Dundee. Aw, thank you so much. Gotta Way cool. Add it to the stack out there of all wow. the awards we've won now between our <laughs> podcast so and our YouTube channel. We have real awards. <laughs> Very cool. Woo. You earned it. Aw. Well, the special thanks goes out to Eagle Doc Stu, who's hopefully catching this episode on day one to see that. Uh, and a big thanks to everybody out there. I mean, the podcast has been going for, what, four or five years now? Long time. Weird. And thanks to people <laughs> like Assassin who join us and help get Yay! us back on track, re-energize us a little bit because we, have <laughs> we get had, lazy. Some, had some tough time getting episodes <laughs> done and out. So We'll get them. A special thanks we'll to get Assassin who's Yay! with us here now. Assassin, endless. <laughs> <laughs> and to all of you out and there, endless. happy Thanksgiving. Whatever you're doing with your families, enjoy it. And if you get bored, uh, come join our Discord server so that you can be on your phone during the holiday and ignore all of your family. That's what the holidays are really all about. That's true. (laughs) Uh, I'm not going to do the whole usual spiel. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Assassin. Happy Thanksgiving. You have a good one, too. And this holiday, to get away from your family, you can try and you've been thinking about getting into VR. (laughs) Doi Von. Doi Von in. (laughs) (laughs) Ha ha ha!